This is the first day of the internship. We started yesterday, but mostly it was introduction to the site. Today's the first day they're really on the ground. So I'm going to take you for a tour around what some of the, what the guys are doing on the ground and um, what they're learning. They're really getting stuck into it, especially with the food forest. We've got a big chop and drop to do now. Right down here at the bottom of the site, we're having a bit of a tidy up around the tool shed. So there's a bit of equipment out, but look, the chop and drop has well and truly begun. So that's a, a pollarded leukina, and there's loads of it going on here. We're cleaning up, having mulch through. We're actually watering down this section already. It's been chopped and dropped with all the leguminous material. As I go round, you'll see all little mulched individual fruit trees, and then going past some worm farms. Got chop and drop happened here already. Now let's track them down. They're not far away. There's a bit of product coming in, fresh greens coming out of gardens and the crews here chopping and dropping and taking down material mostly leukina leukina's in bulk we've even got young lads here chopping away so we're really letting in the sunlight and there's tons and tons of material coming down and opening up the forest. Now uh, we're going to change, it's going to be the most dramatic change in the food forest for the whole working year. And this is the time when the rains are about to start. In fact, we've had one small rain already. Now here we have some secondary footpaths put through, lined with legume logs. The guys are just working, chopping and dropping. And this just gives us a bit of a definition. It's a bit sort of syntropic-esque, but it uh, is on contour, not north-south, because we like to hold every drop of water wherever we work anyway. But it gives you that bit of a definition of where to walk and allows the remaining area to go wild and rough and discourages people walking. So. I like this way of chopping and dropping and the woody material rots quicker, laying roughly on contour. And it gives us smaller defined areas, which people who are not familiar find it easier to work with. So we've got a whole international crew working on a chop and drop remulch system at this time of year. What a beautiful thing, right next to the dining area. And the ladies group is in the classroom having a bit of a propagation lesson. Here they are, look. So they're on the nursery product at the moment. Um, and they're learning about different nursery procedures. If you damage a little bit in the back, so the container is connecting into the soil. It's automatically And the compost crew are off doing all kinds of things. But compost is looking pretty good. Now we've got quite nice piles coming down the, the sloping pen. The guys here is doing some garden edges, trying to protect these trees that are on the edge of the footpath and edge of the chicken system. So we're making some borders around the garden. Actually passion fruit, passion fruit and large legumes. Chickens are here with a lot, of, a lot of materials. So it looks like we're ready to make another mother heap. So they've got manure, they've got straw, they've got food scraps, and it looks like they're ready for construction, but they're off gathering materials. So we'll go on around the site and see who else we can find. The ladies are now back in the nursery. It looks like we've got some serious potting up going on. We have six different varieties. Yeah, so I think it's a really here with your man yeah, looking at seeds. Your man's the translator. Yes. Naima is the local gardening expert. Right. There you go. They look pretty busy. Now here's the front of our project. And we're going to go down the road here to the next door neighbor. And we're going to see what the crew are doing here. Because we've got another gardening exercise going on. Let's have a look what they're up to.
in here somewhere. And this is another one of our neighboring food forests that's gone in. And uh, it's pretty rampant in here. Let's have a look at what the crew are doing. I might be able to actually sneak up on them. They won't see me coming. We've got a lot of fruit trees. Not sure that they're there. Here they are. We've got them. They're gardening in here, look. Mmm. Don't think anybody's seen me yet. There's Mr. Sam Parker Davis. You keeping these guys in order? Uh, yeah, relatively. I had to beat one. Ah. Not too hard, I hope. No, not too hard. It's definitely looking like it's a bit tidier than it was yesterday anyway. Now this is a, another production garden and another food forest on the neighbouring property and uh, produced a lot of produce for our education centre and student kitchen, especially as the winter comes on, as it is now, I'll just start to boom. <laughs> 